right, so that actually wraps up our main sets for today. I still have some accessory work to do, but I probably won't end up filming it. To be honest, I really didn't feel like filming the actual working sets from today, only because I really look at this program I'm on right now as a baby version of it, meaning I'm trying to work my way back slowly. So each week, what we're going to be doing is adding another set in for each of the main exercises to build up that volume and work capacity. As of right now, as you guys can tell, I don't have a lot of footage because I'm only really doing two working sets per exercise, but even that is really kicking my ass and it's been pretty much a struggle for me only because my mobility, which wasn't really good to begin with, is even worse right now after taking that time off. And I keep telling myself I'm gonna start trying to do it every day, even on my downtime, I just never got around to it. So I really need to build that habit back up. But also the fact that we're not really using heavy intensity or heavy load here, but still really feeling like it's kicking my ass, especially on those AMRAP sets. So today's workout, as you saw, were some back squats, sets of six on this particular day, one main working set, then an AMRAP set of the same weight, followed by some close grip bench. Again, sets of six, one main working set, then an AMRAP with the same weight. And finally, some deficit pulls from about two inches, six, and then an AMRAP set. So the way this program has worked out for me right now is training Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Monday are sets of 10, Wednesday sets of eight, Friday sets of six with the intensity increasing each time. And I think it's going to be good going forward, especially with these AMRAP sets. You know, for me, it's always been tough to really tell RPE scale because everything feels heavy and today was no exception. But I'm really looking forward to getting in some more frequent training, adding up that volume and hopefully making some gains in the long run. And that's one of the reasons I really wanted to do this DUP style program. It's different than what I'm normally used to. So I have to really wrap my mind around it and commit, but I'm really looking to get stronger. And I think this is going to help, which is one of the main reasons I'm gonna be working with Garrett Blevins for the foreseeable future. He's actually gonna come down and stay with me a little bit before nationals, so we'll get some good videos in that way. Um, but as part of that, I think we're gonna be looking for a group of people to start the same programming in terms of the main focuses with it being individually catered towards you and your weaknesses starting in the late end of October. So if you are interested in that, stay tuned, or you can always shoot me a direct message and we can talk about some logistics behind it. I know I posted kind of a feeler out there on Facebook and I got a lot of good response, so it should be pretty cool to do so you can train with me as I try to get stronger and hopefully you do too, bounce some ideas off of each other, but stay tuned for more information on that. Uh, overall, expect some more videos coming forward. In this case, I just wanted to show you a couple different angles. I'm hoping eventually the weight gets to a point where it's a little bit more impressive so it really actually means something to show you these sets because right now I don't really like showing you this stuff of me struggling with lighter weights, although it, it definitely is humbling if you have not done that before. Um, so that's where we stand. Let's get to the rest of the work and let's get on to the rest of the video. All right, so I came home today to a new box on my doorstep and obviously I've already unboxed this, so my apologies of not showing you my box, but I got my two customized weightlifting belts from Pioneer Fit, so a single prong and a lever belt. And I've really been wanting to get a single prong belt just to play around with different tightnesses and different positions and a lever belt is kind of hard to do that. But I really found this company when I was looking through my Instagram feed and I saw all these really cool customized belts with logos and sayings and embroidery and different patterns completely different than Inzer. Now, not to say anything necessarily bad against Inzer, I love my Inzer belt, but this is a great way to stand out or a great way to get something different because everybody loves their Inzer belt and that's why you see everybody with the exact same thing. So this is a great thing to look into if you're looking for kind of a step up or a different customization or if you've kind of had some issues with Inzer and their customer service. For example, myself, it literally took them eight weeks to ship me just a standard blue belt. From the time I started talking to Pioneer Fit, to the time I got these belts delivered, I'm talking 10 days. I'm not sure if it's always that quick for everybody, but the fact that you're getting a customized belt that quickly really speaks volumes in my mind, not to mention there was great communication, a great updating along the process, so I couldn't be happier with this. And again, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me post a couple teaser pics of these. So what I'm going to do is obviously break these in over the next couple of weeks, and what I'll do is I'll come back and revisit this video and make a comparison of these and my Inzer and let you know how it compares. Just based off of the feel, they feel identical. In fact, these actually feel more heavy duty, so I'm really excited to give these a try. And I might be a little bit biased saying this, but I think the designs really came out awesome. I was really surprised how much detail they could get out of the printing and my own logo, despite the fact that it's really small. So these look badass. I'm looking to breaking them in. And if you guys are looking for a customized belt, I would definitely suggest checking out Pioneer Fit and you'll find all their information in the description box below. As always, everybody, thanks so much for watching. And in the meantime, stay big.